coming, I'm coming. Here I am. <laughs> Hello, my fabulous friends. Welcome. Oh my God, how did that sound? Anyway, welcome, my fabulous friends, to another video. Today, we have a lot of things to tell you about, um, both here on camera and under the lamps. We're going to present to you a brand new set from Magic the Gathering called Strixhaven. And then we'll find out which one of you has won three more packs of Arcane Rising. We're going to open three more to see which of you uh, gets to win the next set of cards that we uh, are available on contest on this channel. All right, but before we get to that, um, just a few things. Uh, what do you guys think of these thumbnails? Let me know. I mean, they're, aren't they beautiful? For the past two months now, I've had these been made by Gabriel Couture, who's kind enough to, uh, to produce them, and they are just gorgeous. Well, besides the fact that I may be on them, but you know, what's around me and the rest of the art, I mean, and I just found out that Gabriel is actually a professional. Well, for him, this is easy stuff, right? It's just making thumbnails. But this guy actually has 22 movie credits to his credit. Does that make sense? Yeah, and he's worked on huge movies in terms of visual effects, such as, you must know, Star Wars, all those movies, and X-Men, and 20 others that I don't even remember the name of, the, but huge movies. So, um... I'm pretty honored to have uh, him uh, as a, a participant, as a contributor to our fabulous channel. So thank you again, uh, Gabriel. And oh yeah, by the way, do not forget, Tuesday at 2, it's coming up. This is our exclusive preview of, of one of the cards that will be part of the set of Monarch that's coming out May 7th. Yes, our preview date is this coming week, April 20th. Tuesday at 2 for North America, Eastern side, West will be three hours before, and uh, for Europe, Tuesday in the evening, and basically you guys in New Zealand and Australia, you will already be in the morning of the Wednesday the 21st at 6 a.m., but here, Tuesday at 2, that is how I'm getting you guys to remember that, and oh my god, will be an action, I don't know how long it's going to end up, we're, we're already working on that, um, maybe five, six, seven minutes, but it will be the most you know, intense minutes that we've worked on, Josie and I, since uh, the beginning of this channel. So do not miss that. We're trying to make it fun for everyone. So um, we'll see you there. And what else? Oh, yeah, I told you guys that I would let you know concerning um, preview weekend for Monarch, which is April 30th to May 2nd coming up. Uh, I have the four places in Montreal area here that uh, will be holding pre-release weekends. So one of them is face-to-face -face located in the southwestern part of Montreal, Verdun. Then we have uh, on the south shore in Longueuil, Menard Comics. We also have a place that is near downtown Montreal car called Carta Magica. And we have also, well, one of my favorites, obviously. Uh, I've talked about it before. Le Coin de Jeu in uh, Lachenay or Terbonne. It's uh, Terbonne, but Lachenay sector, okay? So uh, each of these places, I think, will have probably 48 spots available. But uh, anyway, you call yourselves. I've given you the information. Ball is in your camp. All right, so that's about it for the info part of today's um, video. Well, actually, lots of info coming up uh, concerning Strixhaven. And if you guys are not, for those of you that are not into magic at all, you can just go to the last five or six minutes and you'll have the opening and the declaring of a new winner for the Arcane Rising, as mentioned before. But anyway, let's uh, stop the talking and get under those lights. All right, my friends. So if you are lucky enough to be playing a pre-release event this weekend for uh, Strixhaven, Magic the Gathering, these are the types of boxes you will run across. There are five different ones. So Strixhaven School of Mages has here the first college called Quandrix. We do have Silver Quill. You can see there at the bottom. We also have Prismari, the blue box. The red box here is Lorehold and... Wither Bloom, those are the five colleges. So for the sake of the video here, I'm going to put uh, four of these aside. We will only just open one so we can have a, a look at what it actually contains. We don't need to do all five. So let's have a look here at uh, Prismari. So the blue uh, box. And we'll have a, an in-depth look. As you know, when you uh, play these uh, boxes, pre-releases, you get six pre-release uh, draft boosters, basically. So, and, okay, the beautiful bluish or purplish, uh, anyway, dice through 20 faced, and we can see the, uh, the logo here of the college that we are uh, speaking of. Huh, interesting. Okay, so as we open these, obviously, six 
boosters actually one of them is very specific to the college you chose as you can see here four five regular boosters and one that is specific to prismari we'll have a look at that in a sec now get ready guys because in here you get oh we got to hear our uh, creature orc wizard and by the way the promo cards here 2021 they used to have the date for the pre-release i should say uh promos and now they're writing 2021 so in a gold foil over on that side so uh now get ready because if by any chance you are amongst the first or the first to uh, to be watching this video, you may earn yourself, and if you play on Arena, you may earn yourself something very special. So there is the card, and take a screenshot of this. This is a code that if you punch into Arena will allow you to get six free packs on Magic the Gathering Arena. So take a snapshot try it if it doesn't work well it's just because you aren't the first one but we're going to give a little bit of an advantage here to our very first uh, contestants or first watchers of this video all right so there you go freebie that's a surprise we didn't know about that i didn't even know about that <laughs> i started all right so let's look at this specific pack that has to do with uh, prismari you will see prismari pledge mage and prismari uh, campus those are the first two cards and all the rest obviously you will get a lesson card here somewhere anyway so uh these are commons obviously and there you go the lesson and uh there's one in each pack we'll finish the commons then we go to uncommons and once again our rare so conspiracy a theorist and then we have a couple of uh tokens here in this uh, box but uh, we do have a first rare and as you will see now in these packs the opening of draft boosters has become really quite quite a bit more interesting. Not as much as the set booster packs, but you will see what I mean by that. In each pack, now you have a lesson that can be, I believe, I know it's the case with uh, set boosters. The lesson card could be of any rarity. So you know how in this uh, these packs, normally you'd get one rare plus and that's it. Well, here's a lesson, okay? This is a uh, common card. It can be of any rarity, I know in the set boosters, I'm not sure about the draft boosters, but you will see something special here. So let's get into our uncommons, all right, we do have three of those, Academic Dispute, and now, oh my goodness, Judd the Oracle of Arcavios, we already have a Mythic Rare, this is a double-sided card, Legendary Creature, and I'm going to be showing off the, the other one here because I'm going to show you the double-sided card. All right, so Mythic Rare already, and this is what I mean here. This card, oh my god, we have two. Okay, this is really special. Now, <laughs> this card here, which is from the Mythic Mystical uh, Archives, okay, um, can be of any rarity also. So now we have an actual Uncommon, and then one pack in three or four, I believe, will also have a, a uh, foil card, and that foil card can be of any rarity, including cards from the Mystical Archives. So as we can see here, it is an Uncommon again. This theoretically, these could have been theoretically like three Mythic Rares. I mean, that is uh, really, really super special, not something we're used to in... Uh, <clears throat> in draft boosters but now it is the case so up to four i believe rare pluses in these and in the set boosters five you can actually get five rare pluses in a set booster how cool is that but these have become quite uh the interesting uh pack is packs to open now with all of these uh additions so let's see here there's our lesson common okay so uncommon Uncommon, the usual three uncommons. Okay, Devastating Monastery is a uh, mastery, I should say, is our rare and Crux of Fate. There you go. That's a big card, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a mystical archive card of the mythic rare caliber. Oh my goodness, isn't that cool? And again, we have we do have a foil in this uh, pack, and it is a rare. So what do you, what was I talking about? Look at this, rare, mythic rare, and rare. Have you ever seen that in draft boosters? Well, I haven't. Oh my goodness, let's put those cards there. How cool is that, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my goodness, I would say. Holy smoking beans is that what I should say. Yesterday, by the way, in a set booster, we'll be opening a box of set boosters in uh, one of the upcoming videos. I actually got three mythic rares in a row. In a row. Boom, boom, boom. Couldn't believe it. All right, so here we go with our common cards. Our lesson is also common. It must be just in the set boosters that you can get those lessons as a rare plus if you, uh, well, any rarity, I should say. So here we go again. Let's have a look at these cards. And 
dramatic, dramatic finale. Let's see if it will be dramatic. And we're here, here. Growth spiral. Okay, that is also a rare. So <laughs> what do I... Two, two rares here, including a mythical, uh, mystical uh, archive. Oh my goodness. Aren't these so much more fun to open now? Goodness gracious. Two more packs to go. So don't forget to pick yourselves uh, up some of these cards, some of these uh, release sets, because they have amazing cards. Well, it sure looks like it from what I've opened so far. Okay, so let's get through our uncommons here. We have Witherbloom Command. Okay, that is our rare. And Revitalize, uncommon. And then a, a checklist card. So let's just pull these two out. See how many cards here I'm piling up as either rare or mythic rare or, you know, or mystical archive cards because I think those are cool. They look good and uh, look cool. And I those are all cards that I will sleeve. That's why I put them aside there. So let's get through these. Uh, I just want to get to the lesson, see if the lesson can be... There's a lesson card. There it is. No, okay. I, these seem to all be common cards for the lessons. So, our three uncommons. Uh, Elite Spellbinder is our rare. And Duress, once again. That is uncommon. Okay. And uh, no bonus card here. Okay. So, let's uh, take these two out. So, there you have it. I mean, uh, six packs and all of these cards that are premium cards that you would be getting ready to play with. Well, not these are just like special art cards, not necessarily premium, but uh, yeah. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun picking these up and playing with these cards. Uh, as you know, you would normally make a 40 card deck and uh, go ahead and play against your opponents with, uh, with your uh, newly made deck from this pre-release. All right, don't go anywhere. We now have those uh, contests of Arcane Rising. We are back to flesh and blood. Let's do it. And once again, we are all set to go. So take a screenshot if you guys want to count yourselves the total of all the numbers around each card. There are four numbers to add. Well, some cards have only two. Some cards don't have any numbers. But you, you get guys needed to add all those numbers to find out and get to a total there. You know the drill by now. This is the fourth time we do the contest. And I'm showing you the other cards just in case you wanted to know which ones they were. As you will remember, I only showed you the premium cards and they have been sleeved already. So winner, don't worry, your cards are well protected. So we did get Oath of the Arc Knight, Cognition Nodes and Rare. Uh, this is actually just a uh, foil card. Okay, Life for a Life, Aether Spindle, Push the Point, Hamstring Shot. We did get these two cards, Induction Chamber and uh, Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath. By the way, these cards did not count. They are the double-sided cards that we said. We don't count any numbers around them. And by the way, look at this. Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath. Look at that. Nine attack, three defense, cost of nine, two pitches. This card alone accounted for 23. So we basically had a number a little higher than the last few times. And the end result, the answer is... 324 is the grand total. And who was on it, our closest? Simon Fuller. He had 323, 343, and 286 as his three picks. So with 324 being the answer, he's just one off. There was uh, Lee actually had 325. He was also one off, but it was his third pick. So we are always giving the advantage to your very first pick. So the closest, honest first pick here, Simon Fuller, 323. It was 324. Simon, you are the winner of all of these cards. So you will need to get in touch with me. Just need to have your address so I can send you the cards. And by the way, you guys who have been winners in the past, I've only had one out of you three guys that have given me his address. If you know who you are, and here we go. We'll be very careful here, Simon, with your cards. We just need to move them aside because we're moving on to... Another three-pack opening, and actually, depending on... Oh, well, listen, we've done this four times, so four times three, actually, um, yeah, four, four times three, twelve. And twice I discarded three packs because uh, the three packs we had opened weren't good enough. So that's... Um, I've discarded six packs overall, and we've played with twelve, so that is eighteen. We have six, and because we only have six left, what I'm going to do today, it will not be the total of these six packs, but... We will judge and have fun. We will actually take the three best of these six packs, okay? So if any one of them we have, for example, is super rare, we'll keep it. So we're going to be playing only with three packs. But once again, 
because, uh, by the way, three packs is 48 cards, and uh, I go over the mailing limit with the fourth pack, because you guys will wonder why don't I include a fourth pack now. Three packs, we're sticking with three, and I'm just showing you here, the obviously, the um, the premium card. So let's see what we have over here. So reduced to Rune Chant, a rare. We have Plunder Run, a rare, and we have Life for Life as a foil. Okay, so we have a triple rare pack here. So no supers, no majestics, but it's a triple rare pack. So, so far, we're going to keep this one over here. And we'll keep going, and uh, well, we're going to keep the first three, and then we're going to see if uh, any of the other packs, like, kinds of knocks off the other one, right? And makes it better. So, here, okay, I have to just be careful here that I don't show you these cards. All right, so Absorbing Ether, Rare, Pedal to the Metal, and Salvage Shot, just a common foil. Okay, so this will be category, uh, category 1 up here, Category 2. So, um, right now... These are the better cards. Let's see what we get in the other packs and uh, we'll figure it out as we move along. So I hope you guys are getting ready for Tuesday at 2. Whoa, 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 what am I doing there? Distracted by my preview card from Monarch that is coming to you. Exclusive worldwide reveal. Aether Spindle. Aether Sync. Okay, two rares. And Blood Spill Invocation. This is also a common foil. So, we will kind of put it in category two over here. Okay. And we'll open another one. Yeah, so uh, very exciting. Uh, very excited to show you that uh, preview card coming up. We'll have a lot of fun once again. Take aim, our rare. A second rare, stir the aether win. And pedal to the metal. Okay, triple rare pack. This is a foil. So, definitely this goes up here. Now we have... Uh, Two packs that had triple rares. We'll see what... Uh, come on, bring us uh, bring us at least a super here. Um, Majestic would be surprising. We already pulled two from this box. You will remember it. we're in the same, you know, in the same set of three packs. Aether Sync, okay, rare. Absorbent Aether, rare. And our foil, Whisper of the Oracle. That is just a common card. So this goes down here in this category. We will hope that we will have a top card in this pack. If not, well... By the way, we're doing this, uh, you know, these contests until we uh, get the launch of Monarch. So we'll open another box. Pedal to the Metal uh, for the next video. St Spellblade Assault. And come on here. Tome of the Aether Win. All right, we get a Tome of the Aether Win Super Rare, which is actually a foil. Giving it, you know, five times the value as a regular Super Rare card. So that is it. We have it over here. We'll put these three packs. How... Good. Does that ever turn out? All we need here are these three packs where we have a Tome of Aetherwind Foil in there. Super rare. And then the uh, two other packs have triple rares in them. So this, these are your cards, ladies and gentlemen. Again, don't count uh, the uh, double-faced cards. And don't forget to count all the uh, pitch value. Just for those of you who are new or maybe watching this video for the first time. So you add the pitch value, the, uh, the resource cost the defense value and the attack value. So, for example, this would be 2 plus 2, 4, and 2, 6, and 5, 11. This card would count for 11. you got to count all the cards except the double-sided cards, obviously. And uh, and that's about it. Give me your total. So you get three picks. You know the drill. And uh, we'll see which one of you wins on the very next video. All right. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves once again. We had an action-packed video today. So thumbs up if you've liked it. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell everybody. Uh, we'll have... Uh, continuing to have uh, a lot of fun with you and being interactive so keep up the good uh, comments out there we always like and appreciate to uh, see them from coming from you and uh, we'll see you very soon be careful out there and take care bye bye